Hi, this is Amy Lewis with NetApp SolidFire. I'm here with Suresh. Suresh, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Suresh Raghuram. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Platform9. So we're here at DockerCon. How many DockerCons have you been to? This is my first as an exhibitor, uh, second one attending. Oh, very cool. My first one as well. So what kinds of trends are you seeing? What, what about the energy? What, what's this been like for you? I think there's been a ton of energy. It feels like a lot of the people who are developing software are that you'd see in a VMworld many years ago um, are, are out here. So it's definitely, I think, the fast-moving adopters, early adopters of technology are, are at this conference. Yeah. So what are you hearing from customers? This is, you hear so much buzz around Docker. So what, what kinds of things are you hearing from cost, uh, customers, the practical applications? I think there's genuine interest. You know, I think Docker, the runtime has been very popular for many years now, but uh, now you're really starting to see customers figure out how do I take this and operationalize a DevOps workflow on top of that? How do I build web services? How do I deploy web services? How do I scale web services? How do I manage the life cycle? So I think there's real maturity starting to come into the system. Uh, people are, are focused on some of these hard problems, which before you could never really address because you weren't able to do services quite with this level of scale uh, that, that Docker lets you do. So what do you think that that's leading us to next? So what's your prediction? Yeah, so this, this show, I think container orchestration has been a huge focus of this show. Um, there's been announcements from Docker. There's been announcements from vendors like Platform9. Essentially, this the, the problem of saying, OK, we, we know how to run individual Docker containers, but we now want to move the game and forward and say, how do, we, how do we build services and deploy services and scale services and upgrade services? That lifecycle management orchestration problem has come to the fore. And I think that really has been the focus of this DockerCon to me. And have you seen the customers change? Are you seeing an expansion or a different set of customers? What's been surprising to you about that as this has evolved? I think there's been a lot of OpenStack customers here. Uh, and uh, I think it is, a, it is fair to say that uh, you know, Docker isn't replacing OpenStack per se, but certainly they're looking to take certain uh, workflows and use container orchestration frameworks to maybe perform them in a more direct and simple native manner. So I think you're seeing a composition of workflows that include the OpenStack workflows and the Docker container orchestration workflows. People are using both of those technologies. And it is the same, same early adopter crowd that you tend to see in OpenStack. Very interesting. So what about the community itself? What do you think has really pushed this forward from the development side of it? I think it does come from the grassroots traction that Docker has had in the development community, right? So the fact that there's now this established base of, I don't know how many hundred, hundreds of thousands or millions of developers that are using Docker every day, uh, has certainly helped accelerate the conversation forward to do more advanced things on top of Docker. So I think the very core of the fuel behind an event like this and the energy that it has is the traction that Docker has in, in the developer community. All right, so we've got it. We've got these on our wrists. So uh, can we uh, can we do this on you air? Know, are you are you? You know, you know. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Oh no! It doesn't, it dead batteries. No, it's, been, it's been dead all day. So sorry. <laughs> so too many too many um, contacts exchanged. Uh, can we do this the uh, 2005 style? It's like <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, it's just dead on me. So I was gonna ask, what do you think about this? Is the first time I've had one of these at a it's conference. It's been cool. I think uh, it is a little more prone to injury. I had a pretty big guy whack me pretty hard uh, and I have a dead battery and so people hit me a few times because they're not sure what's going on and I'm like okay you yeah. <laughs> know so there's a few downsides to this so this has been a high-risk conference for you sir it's a pretty high-risk conference yes <laughs> I think I need to go swap out my band yeah thank you so much awesome thank you for having me we'll see you next time on pop-up tech talks